uh, it seems like my previous video about this is a bit corrupted so i need to create another one i just want to uh, re-establish and um, re uh, restate or rather redo the the analysis uh, from here so again what our main goal is to um, present this um, via descriptive statistics and firstly uh, let's uh, i also forgot to present it via demographics so uh, first thing that we need to do is we need to go to the analysis tab go to the exploration and you may want to go to descriptives then and if you are if there are some statement of the problem or objectives wherein you are needed to put some demographics in so this is what you're going to do about the demographics so you don't put the the sex the age and the course on a split by column you may want to put them first in the variables this is about demographic profile right so put the sex age and course in this variable column uh, we don't want actually any statistics with that. We just want to, you know, to put them in a in a profile. So we don't want any statistics about this. So we just can uncheck all of them because they're a little bit um. We don't need them. Uncheck this at the end as well. Or maybe if you want to put the end, it's okay. But I will uncheck it. What we want to do with these variables is we want to produce frequency distribution out of them. Um, this will produce us um this uh side here. Again, this is Jamovi. Um, on the left side, you can see what we want to tweak um, with the variables given. And on the right side, you can see pretty much the uh, the, the outcome of, of our um, tweaking of this variable. So you can see here the males are 19, females are 31. Pretty much if we're going to add that, it's going to become 50. Um, Jamovi, by default, when you click on frequency tables, it will show you the counts that is the, frequent, the frequency. The percentage which is the percentage of total and the cumulative frequency in most studies we don't really need the cumulative frequency we, so we can just you know cover that if you want but the counts and the percentage are important so make sure that they're there so again this is how you do it when you want to put a demographic profile if you have more variables than this so put them in the variables next part is when you want to perform a test of the script the of descriptive statistics and you want to find the central tendency of for example level of perception and academic performance so we may want again to go back to go to analysis click on descriptives after that or exploration rather and then on that on that exploration click on descriptives and um we will then try to put the variables now the level of perception I just want to drag it down there. If you're just going to drag it simply, what it will show you are these kinds. So make sure that in statistics, you uncheck all the statistics which are not, uh, which you will not use. So by default, Jamovi will check the end, the missing, the standard deviation, minimum, maximum, mean, and median. So we only want basically is the end, standard deviation, and mean. So we uncheck all the others which are not them. And that will be um the important parts and then descriptives variable should be across rows as a common practice so just put it like that let your movie do its job and um we're a little bit um lagged here so you can see the level of percep perception as a whole is going to give us 2.82 so um but most of the case we don't really take them as a whole we divide them and split them you know so um after this, if you want, you can split them. Uh, for example, I will click on exploration again, descriptives. That's going to be as a whole. And then uh, I want to put again level of perception, perception, but I want to divide them this time by, uh, for example, sex. So do the things that I ju just did a while ago. So only put um, the N, standard deviation, and mean, and then variables across rows. Don't forget about that. And we're going to divide that by, for example, let's divide it by, I said sex, right? I'll, I'll try course, divide by course, for example. So what you have here is level of perception divided by course. So in in your learning evidence, you will need to check, you know, uh, depends on your, in your variable or in your um, question, level of perception by course, by sex, by age. If you have more variables, other grouping variables other than what is given here, um, try to divide it by that. So, for example, if we have course here and then we have these N and mean and SD, so pretty much you can see the, the level of perception per course. Now, uh, you, you do this with sex and age and all the variables you have. 
what I'm going to do next is I'm going to explore, click on exploration again, click on descriptors, and I want to explore in the academic performance this time. So the same thing will be followed, academic performance, drag it, go into the variables. Let's say I want to get the overall academic performance. I want to uncheck all the unnecessary measures here. And what we have is a voila. Again, a variable to cross rows, not columns. That's common practice. And uh, what we have is something like this. Academic performance, we have N, we have mean and SD. You can move it slowly. So we have a mean grade of 88.76 with an SD of 6.539. Okay, so if you want, you can take a, take a picture of this. You can right click whenever you have this. You can take a screenshot snippet. Um, or you can always click on the table, click right click. What do you want to copy? Do you want to copy everything which is part of the... Um, the results, you just want to copy this particular analysis that you have had. That is the whole exploration descriptives part. Or do you want to only get a table, just a table alone? So it depends on you. Okay, when you copy, it will be by default in PDF format. Okay, when you export, it will also be in PDF format. I mean, if you copy it, it will be like, a, I think it will, it will behave like a picture format. So um that's how you do it um for example academic performance i want to divide it by for instance course so i want to split it by course so you just you know do the same thing put the course be split by the grouping variable and you can see and notice here that they are divided now by course so you can see bsa are 90 bsom is 87 the mean bsmk is 88 of course these are pseudo data so these are not taken from actual um data itself so that's basically how you do it um you do that with all your variables in your study and what you have here is going to be the descriptive part of your learning evidence. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you would like and subscribe and um, see you soon for our next lesson. Okay, thank you very much.